Wow. Wow, wow, wow. When it was first announced that Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury would have their third fight, I think like a lot of people, I thought, who gives a toss? You know, haven't we seen that? That's been and gone. Like a lot of people, I thought, Wild, um, Fury won the first fight. The second fight was a total beat down. Wilder made all these absurd sort of completely nonsensical excuses, seemed absolutely 100% delusional, at times seemed mentally ill. But then as as the fight got closer, I, and I think it was the gap in between the second and third fights, I started to think, actually, this is quite intriguing. This is quite an intriguing matchup because, what was it, 18 months, two years between the two fights, whatever it was, it gave Wilder a chance to repair himself psychologically, mentally. He had Malik Scott in his corner, who's apparently their really close friends. Regardless of whether Malik Scott is a guy who can train fighters in general or not, sometimes you just get the right chemistry between a trainer, even an inexperienced one, and, and a fighter. And that bond can count for a lot, as can self-belief which can take you a long long way so even if Wilder believed all this crap that he was talking the inspiration he drew from it could have been very very genuine meanwhile you've got Tyson Fury did he really want the third fight nah, you know he seemed a little bit even if it was subconsciously he seemed a little bit not reticent but a bit bored by it all really I've got to do this again I've oh Christ I've beaten him twice do I really need to do this again yes Tyson you do the courts told you you have to but I did wonder whether he might have taken his eye off the ball like I say even subconsciously so by the time this fight arrived this trilogy fight yeah I was I was up for it but did I think we'd get what we've just seen no, I did not. And I very much doubt many people did. Because this was a great heavyweight fight. A really great heavyweight fight. Props to Tyson Fury, floored twice in the fourth round. The one thing you can say about Wilder is that he does hit like a truck. Look, let's remember one thing. As good as Fury is, he is an enormous man he is a giant he's six foot nine and he probably weighs in natural weight about 270 pounds or near as damn you know give or take Deontay Wilder in terms of well he's two two inches shorter he's still totally six foot seven but he's two inches shorter than Fury in terms of natural body weight optimum weight body mass etc he probably weighs about 50 pounds less than Fury. So you're almost talking about guys who belong in two different weight divisions. It's just that in boxing, there aren't two different weight divisions. They're called heavyweights. Unless Wilder wants to go down to bridge a weight, which nobody does. I thought Fury, you know, props to Fury for winning the fight. I actually won a few quid because I thought he'd stop him in the 10th. I had, I had a, you know, the 10, 11, 12 choice on the, on the betting. I put some money on that and I end up with a few quid. But, you know, that's just a little aside. The privilege was watching that fight. And also, big up Deontay Wilder. Because as with the second fight, despite all the rubbish he talked, there's no quit in Deontay Wilder. That's a real fighting man. That's a real, real fighting man. Who gave his absolute damnedest for our entertainment. And I hope he's okay. I'm doing this video 20 minutes, half hour after the fight's finished. Great, great heavyweight fight. Um, will Wilder ever be the same again? I very much doubt it. Physically, I mean. It's the fight that fight like that takes it out of you. And when he, when he got knocked out, I mean, the referee, by the way, I thought handled it very well. He was quite right to stop the fight instantly. 
Wilder afterwards said, apparently said to one of his team, well, you know, I wanted to carry on. He wanted that 10 count. He wanted to go out on his shield. Deontay, you did go out on his shield, mate. Not that he's going to watch this video, but if by some miracle he does, respect to you. You've got my respect back because I thought I lost all the respect for Ty for uh, Deontay Wilder with all that trash he was talking after the second fight. But that's a fighting man. You got to respect that. You got to respect that. Tyson Fury. What can you say about him? The best heavyweight in the world. Usek and Fury. I'd love to see that because I think it would it would show us. Just how much size matters, <laughs> you know. Usyk six foot three and weighs currently weighs two twenty, which is, isn't a small man. It's bigger than most men, but compared to this giant called Tyson Fury, I don't think he beat him. I don't know. I think about that. Think about that fight. That's that's a that's a thought. Maybe a video for another day. But I'm sure. Um, I'm sure, like like me, you know, you all enjoyed the fight, and uh, there's plenty more fights we had. We were spoiled this weekend. There was plenty more fights on that were really good as well. Might do a few videos about them, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, enough's enough. Bedtime, I suppose, but I'm too hyped up, too amped to sort of go to bed yet. But uh, anyway, this is Joe Stunner boxing. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. You probably are new to the channel because it's a new channel. So subscribe, hit the like button, spread the videos, and um, yeah, speak to you soon. Take care.